Hello and welcome to my 10th 2D tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be um, giving you guys an editable game like I do every 10 tutorials so um, yeah uh, you guys probably saw the 10th 3D tutorial which was a 3D tank game and my 20th t um, 3D tor tutorial will be a game as well and that's in progress so yeah but right now I'm working um, I have this editable game now sorry about how late it is but yeah um, my computer majorly crashed so yeah really sorry about how late it is though anyway so here is the game um, it's called motorcycle madness you can play this if you don't have pro you can just play it online I'll give you the link to that or you can um, uh, download it and edit it around so anyway, um, it's probably going pretty chunky, but it should be faster than when I do my full screen 3D. Anyway, so here we go. This is mainly based on physics. I um, redid the uh, 3D physics gex, so um, it's a little bit better now. Um, alrighty, so here's just the menu. So as you can see, it's pretty cool. Anyway, okay, so now I just press the play button. And there we go. So basically what it is, is it's a motorcycle physics game. Um, the object of the game is to, well, get to the end of each level and and see how many, how fast you can do it and how much time you can spend in the air. And that'll add four points um, later anyway. And you also want um, not to die, right? And that's by flipping over. And you have a certain amount of lives to do this in. So there's 20 levels in total, and you have five lives. So yeah. So the yeah, it's a pretty simple game. Well, simple as in it's simple to play, but it's really complicated to make. So I'm not going to be able to um, explain everything to you guys. This is kind of what you're going to have to figure out for yourself. And if you can't, um, if you're not understanding something and you have a very specific question, then you can ask me, and I should either answer you or. Um, I'll put up a whole tutorial on it if it's a big enough question. So yeah, so this just keeps going. Oh darn it! Now you get to see what happens when I die. So yeah, now another thing I noticed about this game is, oh darn, it. um, it doesn't seem to work on some computers. I'm not sure why. If you could, uh, um, give me some information about that then like that'd be really nice because yeah I don't really know um yeah how to fix it yet because it's working fine on my computer and it's working fine on some other people's computers but it so doesn't seem to be working very well um on some computers which I don't really know anything about so yeah anyway so anyway there's the game oh yeah and then when you die um uh Either you finish all the levels, which I've only ever done once, since it's pretty hard, or you die. I'll do that right now. I'll lose all my lives. Then um, it gives you the high score table. So it puts together all your scores, which you've gotten over the levels. So the scoring is basically time um, left plus air time. So, yeah. Last level, or I'm just going to quickly die here. Okay. So, yeah. There we go. So, and then we're back to here. Alrighty. So, I guess, um, so yeah, you can have the editable version here. Um,. Pretty simple. Okay, so what I did is to make the terrain basically there is surfaces. You don't have to do surfaces, but I just did surfaces to make it a really cool texture. And, um, um, oh yeah, the collisioning for that is actually a bunch of lines. Um, I got this little cool engine here that makes lines. So, and then I made a little, um, so yeah, the way I load it also is an interesting file. To load it, but anyway, there's many ways different to do it. I kind of found the best way for me to do it, but you can always choose your own way. 
Um, the car is actually um, different parts. It's car and wheels. Okay, so yeah, the physics is definitely different, um, but I think this gives you enough to work on to figure out how to do it. I've also added a little feature so that if you click, you can actually create a random um, wheel ball thingy that'll roll along for you. I'm not sure why I did that, but well. Uh -huh. So yeah, this is the basics of it. it yeah, pretty much explains how um, everything works, but yeah, you're going to have to... F um, just kind of go through here and figure it out for yourself. Now, if you've already looked at the other um, one, it's a little bit more complicated, but it gives you way more options and way more abilities to do it. So, yeah. Also, I have a nice little um, rope engine here. Um, create rope. It's a bunch of code. You don't have to do any of this at all. All you have to do is um, a piece of code called uh, create rope. So yeah, you just type in that one there, create rope. Um, I'm not sure where I put it. Create line, yeah. Okay, there we go, create rope. These are the three ropes in the menu that you saw there that was really cool. Um, so yeah, you just have to pick X1, um, Y1, and X2, Y2. So, and then, um, yeah. And then it'll create a rope from those two points. And anything on each and either side will be automatically connected to it. And if you don't connect it to anything, then it'll just be connected to that exact position, which is very boring. So what I did is I connected one position to just empty space, and the other one is, um, well, on one of the objects. So it's actually not um, doing anything to connect, it's just being there, and it automatically connects to it, which is really handy. Now for the wheels to connect, um, that's another thing that I did not find in the other um, Gex file, so that's why I made my own, is um, the whole... Uh, joint basically um it joins them together so yeah so yeah well you're just gonna have to look at all this and figure out what you want to use and then you can use it yeah so this is pretty much all i have to show you for my um tutorial you can download this all in the description to the right and yeah i hope you enjoyed this 10th 2d tutorial goodbye